Hi, it's Shannon Heaton from Boston. Today I'm going to share three ideas for how to develop more confidence and comfort when playing Irish traditional music, especially in a social setting, in a session for example. I received a lovely question. I'm going to read it just the way that it was sent to me. I feel like I want to go play out at sessions, but I'm really self-conscious about screwing up or ruining things for the other musicians. What should I do? Now this is a lovely uh, question. It shows a lot of self-awareness and humility. And when you're aware uh, of your own fears and um, of your own desires, and also uh, conscious of wanting other people to um, have their own mastery and their own space, I mean, you're bound to succeed. What a lovely party guest. She wants to contribute something to the conversation and she wants to show up, but she doesn't want to interfere with existing conversations. Would that we were all such fine party guests. So, uh, she's got great intention and how to realize that. Here are three concrete ways that she can um, get more comfortable with herself um, in playing in a social setting. Number one, practice. Practice tunes slowly. Practice tunes at a tempo that is sure and even for you. If that means that Joe Cooley's reel for you is this. That's fabulous. Play it evenly and slowly. Gradually move the tempo up. Also, maybe work on, if that's your tempo of Joe Cooley's reel, also work on some simpler polkas, maybe a waltz, other things um, that you can man maneuver um, a little more quickly. But don't play anything faster than you need to for you. Number one, <laughs> practice. Number two, have a plan for when you're going out to play with other people. Have a list, maybe an actual written list, of four reels, of four jigs, two hornpipes, of two polkas, that you can really play, even if it's at a slower pace. Tunes that you really know by heart. So if you are invited to start a set of tunes, hey, what do you got? What would you like to play? You've got a plan and it doesn't feel so, uh, you know, like you're being put on the spot. You're simply being invited to share something that you have prepared to, to share. Number one, practice slowly. Number two, have a plan for what it is that you're going to play out in the world. And number three, this is a really powerful uh, device for me. I can be quite distracted by everything going on out there, people, noises, and then all the internal chatter, maybe some self-criticism, and maybe just a distraction about what I'm going to cook for dinner. All of that adds up to, uh, it's hard to just sit down and play music. Uh, so what I do is I find a spot on the wall and I set my focus. So this is a literal way to set your attention, to set your intention to play this one tune, to focus on what you're doing. And you may find that while you're playing and you're focusing on this one spot, if your gaze, if your eyes, if your, um, where you're looking and where you're thinking starts to wander, it's likely that your attention is also wandering. So you have somewhere to which you can go back. You have home base. If you find your attention wandering, if you find self-doubt creeping in, you go back to home base. So here is big uh, pointer number three, really helpful for me. I've practiced Joe Cooley's reel slowly and I inched up the tempo. I made a plan that I was going to start Joe Cooley's reel if somebody invited me to start a tune. And now is the moment that I'm going to do it. I find my spot. Sure, I'd love to play Joe Cooley's reel.
attachment of my attention wandering and going back, but really my attention was wandering and I wanted to f physically demonstrate that to you. And it really did bring my attention back uh, when I did that. So good luck finding your focus, setting your intention, and finding more comfort and mastery as you work on Irish traditional music. Hope to have some tunes with you out there.